Okay, so now I have 14 points, and I've been um, putting them. Oops. What the heck? What's that? Wait, did I get? Oh, fired up. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Let me get that. Oop. Let me get that. Okay. All right. So I'm about to show you all the ones I gotten. So I gotten this, 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 and this so far. Oh, and this, these three, I think. Because I think I had 17 originally. Hopefully we don't freaking lose, um, like we, um, again, because, like, I don't like losing those side missions, especially when I shouldn't lose. Like, that's what makes it worse, like... Hey, where's the springboard? Unless oh, do I need this? Bro, see, like honestly, with the the tree, like I don't understand. And then there's a sub tree, and then there's an overcharged tree. Like I don't know what any of that means. Well, like I could probably figure it out if I paid attention to it, but like... Prestige. Interesting. There we go. All right, so we definitely done got some stuff now. Um, move set. Let's see what we can get for Musa. Oh, I'm just messing this on back real quick. Alright, new items. Alright, we, we still can't get a new items, alright. Alright. Springboard. 
So I'm confused. So how I know? <laughs> Who we got? Midnight power bomb. Honestly, I'm fine with getting midnight power bomb. To be honest. Float over snap, snap, oh, snap supplies. Alright, we can go ahead and add that. Okay, so what's the point of giving it to me if I have none of them unlocked? that because at that point at that point it's like you might as well not even give it to me Let's go ahead and talk to these dudes. After we beat you tonight, we're going to be co-US champions. Of course you think that. He makes a good point. It is only fair. He is just trying to drive us apart before the match. And besides, we had a deal all worked out in writing. I faxed it to you, remember? I don't have a fax machine. <laughs> it's 2018. I'm pretty sure. Oh, so I didn't realize they were talking. But I mean, it sounded good to the match anyways. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little happy. My college has started opening up more classes and degree plans for more of what I'm trying to do. So now I may not have to transfer because they're gonna have my degree. And so, good it's thing I never hardest. really made anything official with anyone. So I might be able to um, 
and stay with them and do it, you know? All right, let's do this. I bet it's going to be one of those gets someone to a color. Yep, I knew it was going to be Triple one of those. Triple H has stacked the deck against Buzz tonight in his two-on-one US title handicap match. He was able to overcome the odds at Money in the Bank, so I'm willing to bet he can do it again here tonight. He may not have to if KO and Sammy are unable to work together. You never know what can happen with superstars' egos when there's a title on the line. Don't be ridiculous, Cole. Kevin Whoa, what the heck? and Sami Zayn are professionals. They know what's at stake, and they're not going to let jealousy or anything else get in the way. Oh, mm. Nasty fall. What is he doing? Oh, okay. I was As so we confused. say in the trade, guys, the monitor area in the locker room is likely sold out for this one. As there are plenty of superstars are you with a vested me? interest Wait, pause in the outcome on that. of this match. That wasn't what I pressed, but okay. <laughs> None of that I pressed, but okay. These competitors are walking on like, I, I guess right I can now. kind of see it because I ran to the him and pressed and held square, but that's about it. However, then he figured it the Irish whip thing, but by that time I had already let go of square. And with that in mind, regardless of their personal feelings, you'd have to think the locker room is rooting for the champion here tonight. The last thing they want to do is to have to wait even longer while the champ's rematch clause kicks in. <laughs> Beautiful technique. Guys, a loss here for the champion would be incredibly embarrassing, especially considering all the trash talking I'm told that's been going on behind the scenes. I don't want to reveal my sources, but let's just say there's been some pretty harsh words being tossed around. Kevin Owens may be in a bad way here. Jeez. But he certainly comes into this championship match with a ton of momentum. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. But that can obviously all change here. I don't know who your sources are, Corey, but it wouldn't surprise me at all to learn that the champion Boom. has been a little cocky heading into this one. And there's nothing wrong going for the cover. Because, I mean, I beat them all. And Kevin Owens quickly kicks out. Like, why would I not be cocky? The champ's absorbing some offense here. He comes into this championship match with a full tank of gas and ready Man. for a fight. Guys, these superstars really do appear to be in peak physical condition here tonight, which isn't surprising considering what's on the line Come here on, in this championship match. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, nasty impact. Man, he keeps trying to do a tag team with Sammy. Backbreaker, oh. right to the lower back. I gotta agree with you, Michael. These superstars are in tremendous shape, and from what I understand, the champ has been hitting the gym twice daily in preparation for tonight. I heard the same thing, Saxton. Once in the morning, then again at night after the show, which makes me wonder when the champ actually sleeps, if at all. Oh boy, he is rolling. You already know we got some you choking on. this one's over. Guys, Can't a lot get out of the people ring? are predicting oh, no, a new I can't champion here tonight. Even a poll on WWE.com earlier today predicted we'd have a new champ. But at the risk of being a downer, I'll believe Crap. it when I see it. Nasty! The hardest part of the ring. Corey, I have to disagree with your earlier comment. I'm with the masses on this one. I think tonight is the night we crown a new champion. Well, either way, guys, this has been one heck of a match up to this point, and I think it's only going to get better. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite Oof. like this guy. Oh, mm. man, what a nasty STO. I think that's what uh, Shad's He got body on body there, but that's about it. Used to be when he yeah, was in WWE. Really no Rest in peace to the homie Shad. I don't know why I have to call him the homie, but, <laughs> but crazy, no, rest in peace. I know this is kind of late, but it is really sad what happened the match as the underdog. I know and it sounds odd, but it really seems like so the champ like, is up against a You all need to be careful here. when, like, around that water and stuff. Like, people don't realize how dangerous that stuff is. Because I think, uh, like, I mean, I don't think, but, like, 
earlier, uh, I mean not earlier last year, but well around this time last year, because it was definitely summertime, we went to uh, me and some of my friends went to uh, Galveston, and we were in like, the Gulf of Mexico, and that water was freaking crazy, like it was so calm, but then it got super crazy. Damn, Just last to think you might be all right. You but yeah, you gotta be careful. I might like share that. that story though, because I mean, it, it is honestly pretty interesting. Jump. We've seen champions yeah. head into matches, maybe Bro, nowhere He's got him near him. Oh, with the easy kick out. Not yet. Hook them. Mm. What does Buzz have in store? We're uh -oh. going to find out. Midnight power bomb. Will Buzz be able to continue? I doubt it. I know we're supposed to uh, get Kevin Owens to red. And how they survive that is anyone's guess. Too early yeah, for that. To do Speaking that. of champions heading into matches a bit overconfident, one of the most glaring examples of that would have to be the honky tonk man's attitude heading into his Intercontinental Championship defense at SummerSlam night. Uh oh. Look at down with a power bomb. We might be looking at a new champ here. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? How'd he do that? Uh oh. Wicked clothesline. Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. Whoa, Zane dodged that one. Lightning quick. Watch out. This is where anything can happen. Tell me about it. Ooh, what impact. Sammy Zane. Oh, I thought he was going to tag in. Like, do a tag team move. Oh my, but he's got to capitalize now. Ooh. Damn, he's going to put my lights off for real, for real. Bringing it back into the ring. The champ to the top turnbuckle. Mmm. Mm. Sit down. Be humble. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. The champion. Yeah, he's got a lot left in him. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. Some more mind games. Thank you. Kevin Owens just too fast for him. Counter here. Oh boy, he is rolling. To follow up Byron's earlier Dang. point, the challenger has to... to remember just how rare championship Ooh. opportunities truly there are here in WWE. A loss here could result in a trip to the back of the line. Don't worry, Cole. This isn't the challenger's first rodeo. Boom. Everybody knows exactly what's oh. at stake here. Mm. Shoulders down, championship on the line. New champion. Didn't have to dig very deep to kick out of that one. Gonna take more than that to keep Oof. the French Canadian down. Bump handle, bump handle into the oh, bro. It didn't and let me right the do the automatic the reversal. Here's his he goes for the cover. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. Wow, I am impressed. Kevin Owens just too fast for him. Surprising. Has Buzz pulled off what the, the impossible? Fuck? No, he hasn't. I told you these two would be on the same page. What the? RKO out of nowhere. Where did Orton even I knew from? I was going to get screwed. Taking advantage. Ooh. Shoulders are down. One, two, we got a three. New oh my gosh. <laughs> Bro, I got hit a couple of tries, two but with the help of an old friend, Triple H finally got what he wanted. You guys man. are burying the lead here. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are your new United States champion. Buzz never had a chance. With Orton interfering, it was essentially three on one. Four on one if you include Triple H. Man, that was freaking ridiculous.
how do I even get style points to be honest because I really don't know like I just literally started the gameplay and I saw that I had plenty I take use I think honestly y'all might um well I mean not y'all but but I'm about to try and change his entrance probably make it something more watchable Is this um Sincaros? No, it's not. Sheep herding kiwis. We honestly might have to go with Boxer. I was really hoping that this was his. So don't forget the keys and then we're going to change. So don't forget the keys is going to be his entrance with a title. And then without the title, it's going to be a uh, boxer. Our truth 2012 our truth our truth and Kofi Kingston what was there our truth and Kofi Kingston's music did I really do not remember So there we go.
my um my um my the cord on my mic got caught in my pants like the belt part of my pants well uh, my belt isn't a part of my pants but you know what I mean go to Japan oh heck yeah alright I'm trying to see what else oh. and we went back to moveset I did not mean to do that All right, here you go. Shinze Shinsuke. The next day. Let's be honest, was that cutscene really necessary? Oh, 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 okay. Okay, we get to see all these people. If SmackDown Live is the house that AJ Styles built, then the foundation was constructed in Japan. I learned that the audience there respects traditions like the fighting spirit and hard-hitting matches. And since it's your first trip, you better bring it. There's one other Japanese tradition that you need to know. On your first trip, you're going to buy all the veterans dinner. Hope you brought your credit card. Oh. Hopefully that's just a playful rib. Glad you are getting your rest. You are going to need it. When you face me in Japan. This sounds like um, Shinsuke is like reading it off a of paper. Yes, it will be a no The same with you starting at the right. I'm really looking forward to this trip. Because Triple H is not on it. And I'm excited to see your match against Nakamura, of course. Depending on how that goes, you might have a match at the Dome for our big WWE Network special. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Before all that, I've arranged for you to take on an up-and-coming star from a Japanese promotion. You know, to help shake off any jet lag. I think it'll be more fun if it's a surprise. AJ Styles, Jericho, Nakamura, Asuka, Finn Balor. Your opponent tonight has been creating quite the buzz. Okay, I thought it was about to be Daniel Bryan. Right? I'm like, that's star. confusing. So I'm excited to see you two face each other for the very first time 
in Japan. We I knew it was going to be Baron Blade. I should have said something because I knew it was going to be. I, I was going to say, yeah, watch it be Baron Blade, but then I'm like, nah, let me not say. Get ready to witness something special. To catch everyone up to speed, Cole Quinn and Buzz have a long history on the indie circuit. Most recently, they invaded NXT with the now disgraced Baron Blade. Since then, Cole's made a name for himself in Japan, while Buzz has done the same on SmackDown Live. By the look on Buzz's face, he probably didn't expect to see his friend in the ring again anytime soon. Nonetheless, we're all lucky to see it happen. Damn, bro. I really should have said something because I, I thought for a second, not even like a second, like I thought it might be Baron Blade, but then like I'm like, that'd be weird for him to be in Japan. Like that's the only thing about it. Like even him, he doesn't have like, he doesn't look too much like a jogger. Well, honestly, we both look like jobbers. We're going to be 100% honest. Oh, man. But the thing I like is he's selling my speed, though. Mmm. 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 Uh oh, the punches, the punches. The Japanese would not be counting along to it like that in English. Well, I shouldn't say that. I haven't watched New Japan in, like forever. But then again, I guess that's New Japan, and this is freaking WWE. Imagine if like WWE was like in good with other wrestling promotion, and they can like actually talk about other wrestling promotions and all that. Like we might actually could have gotten like something like a rivalry against like New Japan or something like that you know what I mean or just something like instead of it just being like basic WWE stuff Like, I kind of wish there was, like, a wrestling game that could get, like, all the wrestling license, you know? You going for the cover? Kick out at zero. Hey, no one think that was it. Ow. German. Space Crusher. Deli Driver. To a midnight power bomb. Power bomb. Come on, rap. It's over. One, two, three. Like, I just like how um, Colin Quinn just. Oh, I mean, not Colin Quinn. Cole Quinn just like jobs out for me. Like, he's just always jobbing to me. Dally driver, and then it all ends with a midnight power bomb.
Hey, don't worry about it, brother. You always do. Started lose in me. high school gyms in the U.S. has now added a new chapter in Japan. This is truly a special moment, and this is only our first night here. We will get to see Buzz versus Nakamura, and then there's the WWE Network special from the, the dome. dome. I do this for free. Don't give him any ideas, Byron. Thanks again for joining us from Japan for this WWE.com exclusive. You said you had a successful Japanese debut last night. But tonight, you face the king of Songsar in his kingdom. And you will be lucky to go back to America with all your teeth. Does it really say all that? More or less. I like how Asuka was on the back, but that's funny though, because like that's exactly how I'd be in Japan. I'm like, I don't know what this says. Hey, you know the first person I would go to is Shinsuke Nakamura, or like maybe like Asuka, or just someone I know that's been that's like either Japanese or has been in Japan so like even Jericho or um Balor or um Styles well I guess Jericho's not in the WWE right now so I guess I wouldn't have gone to him but like if he was that's where I would have went I would peeping out that new intro <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mmm, right into a clothesline. Dang. Shinsuke, like I was gonna say, is good, but it's not really that he's good. It's just he has more reversals, so he can keep like reversing my moves, and like by the time I gain my two back, he's already gotten all four of his back. Oh, 
Okay. Oof. We got all of his reverses pretty much going. There we go. Mmm, 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 mmm. Come on, get up. Uh-oh. Shining wizard. Dang. Dang, that was too fast. Yes! Even though my foot was like a whole foot away from the ropes. I don't even see the superplex yet. Another suplex. Crap. I thought I was just out of his reach for that, from that. Deli driver! Come on, Raf. Two, three. Mmm. Hit him with that comeback. And then, of course, he kicks out of that one, two, kick out. And then we hit with a shining wizard. Kandasha! But then he hit, look at his foot touch the rope. Deadly driver! Talk about making an impression on your first tour of Japan. Not only was Buzz able to pull out a victory, he did it on Nakamura's home turf. That's impressive.
You may have gotten that win tonight. But next time, it ends differently. Need to face. We hope you enjoyed this WWE.com exclusive. Be sure to join us tomorrow on the WWE Network as we bring you a huge special event live from Japan. Wait, why are they like stretching like that? Why? I thought I didn't have a match tonight on the network special. After what I saw you do against Cole Quinn and then Shinsuke, you do now. I'm changing the scheduled AJ Styles versus Nakamura match to a triple threat, and you're the third participant. So I get to wrestle at the dome? On the network special? Tonight? Yes, but not if you don't get ready, so go. Now! Go! I like how Oscar was just standing there. If you didn't understand last night, I'll say it again. Tonight, need to face. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed that my big singles match with Shinsuke Nakamura has now changed to a triple threat match with a rookie. Well then, you're really gonna be disappointed when you lose to a rookie. Are you crazy? I may be from Georgia, but the legend of AJ Styles was born in the dome. So there's no way I'm gonna be upstaged by you or Nakamura. Oh, and don't forget, you still need to buy everyone dinner. How about tonight after the show? It'll be a nice way to celebrate my big win. Damn, bro. My guy is a savage. This doesn't come around very often. Not only because of where we are, but because of the circumstances. Triple H isn't here to try and hold you down. Owens and Zayn can't interfere. You control your destiny tonight. It's your chance to show the world live on the WWE Network that you belong in the main event picture on SmackDown. Thank you for giving me this Thank chance. Me by going out there and having the best match of your career. Now right, let's do this. Let's skip the entrances. Let me know in the comments if y'all like 80 Styles WWE theme or his TNA theme better. Or even his New Japan theme. Like which theme do you think of is the best? Oof. German. I'm trying to get out of the ring now.
Mmm, what? Mmm, there you go. Man, they really don't want me to use that. Here it is. I don't know why I kept thinking I was about to get a disqualified or something. Suplex. Headbutt. Styles is on the chair. Oh. JJ Crusher. I don't know. Uh oh. Oof. Uh oh. Ah, uh, you reversed that. Mmm. Yeah, there's no way out for me. Okay. Never mind. Mmm. Inverted suplex. Uh oh, DDT. Mmm. 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 Oof. <laughs> I like how you like reversed into that. Dang. It's like I keep trying to bring in the hardcore element while they're just trying to have a wrestling match. What the? Hmm. Uh -oh. He got all of Ooh. it. Ooh. Tosses Styles out of the ring. Can he steal this one? That's this what I'm talking about. This is a career-defining win. I'd say it's a <laughs> career-defining Japanese Tory deserves to celebrate. Buzz capitalized on an opening to pin Nakamura. Yeah, capitalize is a nice way to put it. He stole the win from AJ. Wow. Coming from AJ in Japan? That means a lot. Apparently, he's earned AJ's respect. Too sweet. If these two have formed an alliance, that could have huge repercussions going forward. Whoop, Without whoop, a doubt, whoop, well, whoop, that doesn't trust from the whoop, Dome whoop. in Japan. Thank Wait, you so remember much for when, um, who woke up early to catch a uh, Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks, and like all the people that blow clubs are doing like the one sweet now because apparently the two sweet got copyrighted from by WWE, which is stupid.
Yeah, that's not that funny. But either way, thank you guys for watching. Those of you who did, please comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll definitely see you guys next time. Bye.